Toby Duck. <coughs> Stop. All the delegates have been exterminated. We must now report back to Davros immediately. Emergency transportation system. Ow, Doctor, what was that for? Sorry, Toby, I didn't hurt you. Yes, you did. You knocked me head. Well, because the Daleks nearly exterminated us, you see. Yeah, but what do you mean, Doctor? Well, that big flash of light what shot past us, that could have killed us. That's why I told you to duck. Well, how are we going to escape, anyway? There are probably hundreds of them in the corridors. Now, listen to me, Toby. We've got to go out that door, and you've got to follow me down the corridor. Why, Doctor? Because I've worked out the plan of the city of the Daleks, you see. There's only one exit out of this entire building. That's where we came in, them doors, you know, what opened from outside. Oh, yes, Doctor, but how are we going to get there? Well, we've got to get past some Daleks first. Doctor, what about your friend over there, Kathleen? Oh, my giddy arm, I nearly forgot. Kathleen. Kathleen. Hey, up, who's that? It's me, the Doctor. Oh, hello, Doctor. Are you all right? Well, of course I am. I'm still talking to you. When you told that Toby over there to dock our dock too, because I knew something suspicious would be up. Well, that's good. Yes, but Doctor, how do we get out of here? I've just explained it to Toby. You've got to follow me down the corridors, all right? All right, Doctor. Let me just get on my feet first. Uh, right, then. I'm all ready for action. Right, then. Come to the centre of the room, both of you. Listen, you two. We could have go out that door, we could have walked straight down that corridor, and round the corner there's another door. But earlier I spotted some Daleks in there on the way here. Oh yes, Doctor, so how are we going to get past them? Well, what we're going to do is we're going to sneak into that room. Doctor, you can't sneak into a room full of Daleks. But these Daleks are asleep. Daleks, what are asleep? What on earth does that mean? Well, they've got to have respite periods, haven't they? So we're going to go through that room... And there's another door at the end, so we go in there, and we will be in that room where we came in earlier. All right, Doctor. Just one problem. What's that? There's going to be other Daleks in the corridors. I bet you haven't thought of that. Don't worry, I have. Oh, he is clever, ain't he? Right, then. Are we ready, then? Right, listen, you two. Yes, what, Doctor? Round that corner is a room full of Daleks. I must warn you not to do one thing. Hey, what's that, Doctor? Not to make loud noises. Why, Doctor? Because it can set off their sensory units and wake them up again. All right, so we'll go through quietly. Hey, up, Doctor. You might want to look round the corner first, just in case there's a Dalek what's awake. You're very intelligent, you are. You should be like that, Toby. Thank you, Doctor. So it looks all right. They look like they're all asleep. Right, come on in. Single file, go through the room, one by one. All right? I'll go first. Right, come on then, Toby. Come through. I'm coming, Doctor. Right, Kathleen, you're last. Come on. Eop, I'm coming, Doctor. Shh. Yeah, I made it. Hooray. Uh... Kathleen, I told you to be quiet. You've woken one of the Daleks up. Whoops. Who are you? It is the Doctor. When I tell someone to be quiet, why can't they be quiet? For goodness sake. Eop, I'm sorry, Doctor. Emergency. Call reinforcement. Reinforcement. Requested sound warning alarm. The doctor has escaped. The doctor has escaped. Emergency. Emergency. You reported an emergency. Look, the doctor has escaped. Excellent, excellent. Take him to Davros and Supreme Dalek in the meeting room immediately. I obey. You will follow me or you will be exterminated. Fine. We can't do anything now, can we? Now that someone made a loud noise. Sorry, Doctor. Come on, then. Much as well follow you. Davros, here is the Doctor and his two friends. Excellent. So, Doctor, we meet again. And you thought that you could escape me. No one could escape Davros, the creator of the Daleks. You think too much of yourself, Davros. You will be silent when you are talking to Davros. He is our emperor. He is our creator. You must listen to the supreme Dalek, Doctor. He speaks wise words. Davros, you created nothing but havoc in the universe. And what have you done, Doctor, but create more by interfering? Now, Doctor, what is the reason why you have come to Skaro? There must be a, a valid reason why. The Time Lord sent me. I don't believe you. They did. They told me to come here and see what the Daleks were up to. I don't believe you. Well, it's true. Who are you? I'm the Doctor's companion. The words he speak are true. 
Ah, so he is your companion, is he? He's a bit of a change from that old woman. Don't you talk about her, Davros. Step away from Davros. Oh, shut up. Don't you dare talk about her like that, Davros. It was you and this horrible supreme Dalek who committed her to death. You must be mistaken, Doctor. It was the other supreme Dalek on the command ship what did it, Davros, but it's still your creation, so it's still your fault. From the moment you created these bubbling lumps of hate, people's lives have been ruined, families, universes, civilizations have been destroyed all because of you, one megalomaniac. How dare you, Doctor? Do not speak of him like that, do not speak of him like Oh yeah, and what are you gonna do, hmm? You won't destroy me, because every time I come across you, you say well, you must destroy the Doctor, but you never do. You want me for something, don't you? Well done, Doctor. It's taken you all this time to work that simple little question out. Oh, yes. And what do you want me for, then? What do I want you for? I want your time machine. The Daleks have a time machine. Wrong, Doctor. That time machine was destroyed on Gallifrey. Remember when you destroyed us? You weren't even there. But my Daleks tell me everything, Doctor. They tell me everything what you do. You, you are the destroyer of our race. Yes, Davros, and you are the destroyer of many other races. Hey, Doctor, don't get too angry. Be quiet, Kathleen, I'm talking. Now listen up, Davros. Oh, Doctor, so you're so rude to the females now, aren't you? Be quiet, Davros. Oh, this new regeneration of yours hasn't worked out perfectly well, has it? You've been a very nasty person ever since you regenerated. Be quiet, Davros. I won't be quiet. Be quiet, Davros, at once! How dare you shout at me, Doctor? How dare you shout at me, Davros? Now you will listen to me. You will listen to no one else but me, all right? Stop being rude to Davros. Right, that's it. What is that? This is my sonic screwdriver and have a taste of its medicine, why don't you? Emergency! Emergency! <laughs> Just destroying one Dalek, do you think that's going to upset me enough? All Daleks are to come to the meeting room immediately. Destroy the Doctor! Exterminate every last stinking cell of him! Do it immediately! Now, hang on a minute. Oh, yes, and who are you to talk to me? Now, listen, I'm from the Galactic Police. Oh, we've got an even bigger prize now, the Galactic Police. We've been wanting one of you to brainwash and destroy that stupid organisation. Oi, don't you call it stupid. How dare you? I don't even know who you are, but you look like someone who's been fried out of a deep fat fryer. How dare you insult my looks? You have a scurry enough to insult my looks. Look at me. This is how I was from years of being a scientist. It hasn't improved you at all, Davos. Be silent, Doctor. You. Look at your burnt face, you horrible mutant creature. How dare you speak to me like that. When my Daleks are right, they will wipe the face with you. Look at you. How on earth did you end up like this? Years of being a scientist and trying to create my own creations. This is what did it to me. Nothing else. Huh. We are nothing but a horrible little bubbling lump of hate like the creations what you created. You've destroyed your own race. How did you know about that, Toby? I read your books, Doctor. All right. How dare you. I did not destroy my own race. What a lie, Davros. What a lie, Davros. You destroyed your own race to create the Daleks. Look what you've done to them, Davros. All the Kaleds have been wiped out and turned into Daleks. Is that what has been wiped out and you turned them into Daleks? Is that what you wanted all them years ago? When you were a scientist, through that thousand year war, you wanted to create this total destruction of your own race. It was the next evolutionary step, Doctor. Our planet was bombarded by, bombarded by nuclear missiles. Yes, Davros. Your nuclear missiles, what you created. You've been planning this for years, haven't you, to create Daleks? Yes, Doctor, and I'm about to create a whole new batch of them. How? By taking over the universe. The delegates in here were the heads of the states of the entire universe. I have destroyed them. They will become new Daleks, and I, Davros, will be their leader. No, you won't, Davros. Stop this at once. Doctor, shall I shoot him? No, I've got a better plan for him. Stay where you are. 
Do not move, we have surrounded you, Doctor. Oh, too late, Doctor, too late. Hey, up, get away from me, horrible pepper pot. Be silent, be silent. Let's take him to the control room at once. It is time for us to exterminate the Doctor once and for all. Excellent, excellent. Follow us, Doctor. Davros, you're mad. No, Doctor. You're the one who's mad. <laughs> so, so, Doctor. What's going to happen to my companions? Your companions will be fine where they are. They won't escape. In fact, I might destroy them. <laughs> Tavros, stop it at once. You created this menace, Doctor. You were the one who started the argument, and now it's time for you to face the facts of it all, Doctor. Kill him, Dalek. Too late, Davros. What have you done? You see, while you were on a ranting rampage a minute ago, you didn't notice my hand touched that control panel, did you? What do you mean, touch that control panel? Well, I've controlled it, and I've sent a signal to the Time Lords. What? No, you can't have. No, not the Time Lords, Doctor. Too late, Davros. Do you know, when I first arrived in here, I put it on record, and everything that you've said, everything that the Daleks have done, has been relayed back to the Time Lords. No. You've had this planned with them, haven't you? You have planned our total destruction. What a shame, Davros. What a shame. Finally, the most evil and hated race in the universe will be wiped out. No. No, this must not happen. No. Where then two Daleks gone? Exterminate him, Dalek. Exterminate. Stop. This is the Time Lords. Too late, Davros. They've already arrived. No. No. Dalek. Yes, Davros. When the Time Lord comes, you must destroy him. No, Davros. You are too late. We build around the entire city of the Daleks. There is no escape. Your weapons are useless. No. You cannot harm me. I am the creator of the most powerful race of the universe, and you will be destroyed. No, Davros. We are sending a Time Lord to meet you immediately. See, Davros, I told you, you're too late. You're just too late. <coughs> Who are you? I am the Chancellor. Hello, Chancellor again. Oh, hello there, Doctor. Davros, I've come from Gallifrey to issue you with a court warning. What do you mean, a court warning? I shall now read you out a list of your crimes, because you are to be put on trial by the Time Lords and the Galactic Interchange, which you try to exterminate. What do you mean? A trial. Be quiet, Davros. I shall read out your convictions. First of all, genocide of the Carlids. Second, total destruction of half the universe. Third, destroying perfectly happy civilizations. Fourth, making everybody miserable. You'll be brought back to Gallifrey immediately. Let's go back to Gallifrey. You do not have any rights to do this to me. Davros, you are going now. No. When we meet again, Doctor, I will destroy you. Dalek. Huh. Just as I thought, the Time Lords had frozen them. So the Daleks are destroyed. So the Daleks have been destroyed once and for all. Oh, I better go and find Toby and Kathleen. Oh, yes. We will return one day. We will destroy you, Doctor. Hey, up there, Doctor. You took your time, didn't you? Did you destroy the Daleks? Well, no, not exactly. What do you mean, no, not exactly? Well, you see, you know Davros? Oh, yes, Doctor. Well, I sent for the Time Lords. Oh, why did you do that? Well, because obviously Davros wasn't allowed to be doing what he was doing. Well, what was he going to do? Yes, what was he going to do, Doctor? Well, you know all them delegates what he exterminated? Yes, Doctor, exterminated them all. The Daleks were going to take over their planets. And you see... Once the Daleks had taken over their planets, they could convert them into Daleks. Oh, that's horrible, Doctor. Well, no, well, that's why I called the Time Lords, because it was going far too out of hand, and me and Davros had a right shouting match. Oh, I would imagine, Doctor. Oh, come on, Doctor, can we go inside? It's getting cold. Oh, that's another thing. We've got to get out of here. Why? Because the Time Lords are freezing the city of the Daleks. Now, come on, inside. All right, Doctor. We'll meet again, Davros. We'll meet again. 
just to think, before Davros created the Daleks, this planet was a really lovely world. What a shame. Right, closing doors. Now, where are we off to now, Doctor? Well, I thought, Toby, we could have a rest just for a bit. Oh, yes, Doctor, I'm absolutely worn out. Well, so am I. E up there, Doctor, what about me? Oh, sorry, I forgot about you. Oh, Doctor. Well, anyway, I just came to say thank you for what you've done, and thanks for saving me. John and Ethel, all oh, there on our spacecraft. Spacecraft, yes. Our spaceship, what we travel around in. Anyway, you'll find out about that very soon, I'm sure. Goodbye, Doctor. I've got to go now. All right, good goodbye, Kathleen. Goodbye, Kathleen. Goodbye. Yes, Toby. Is that the end of Davros and the Daleks? No, it's never the end. I've seen them so many times being destroyed and they've come back for more. No, Toby. The Daleks and Davros will return one day. They will return. And I'll be waiting. Yes, I'll be waiting for them. <laughs>